Okay, we worked the head voice halfway decent. You know, uh, there's more that we can do, and we're going to talk about that in a minute. What you can do to continue to work the head voice. But what I want you to do now is I want you to start first in your chest voice, and I want you to negotiate the feeling in the throat between your chest resonant voice and your head voice, and go back and forth and toggle between the two like this. I'm going la. I'm in my chest. I'm in my head, and I'm going back and forth between the two without the break, right? Without the register break. It's really subtle. In fact, I'm really good at it. So you may not even be able to hear the fact that I'm going into my head voice. But I want, even if it's extreme, and you, and even if you have to start with a break, I'd rather you not. But so you really understand the difference. <laughs> Here's what's going to happen. There's going to be a tendency for the throat to want to spasm and close down every time you go in and out of your chest and head. So the idea is that you embed and, and, and the sub, you know, subconsciously keep the throat so open so that you never have that feeling of regurgitation or spasming as the throat wants to close down. <laughs> that kind of feeling. <laughs> Again, I want you to start now on your head voice first. First we started on chest and we went to head. Now I want you to start on your head voice and go to chest on the way back down like this. Not 
pushing and over, it's called blowing out the cord. So um, it's, I'm glad I did that because it shows you that if you push too hard, you want to back off the sound a lot and only go with as much sound as your voice can handle. So if I do it again, I'm starting, excuse me, starting off on the head voice. So you want to go in and out, and it doesn't need to be perfect. This is just about getting you to feel the sensation of what it feels like to force and maintain and keep that throat open and go back into our nice bright timbrel sound into the head voice, okay? So we're going to do some sliders now, and uh, let's get going. Here we go.